my battery is already blinking. Anywho, let's do a reading for you, Cancer, and see what is going on in your life, what's coming your way. Now, after we had the new moon, what are you manifesting? What did you let go of? What do you still need to let go of? Ooh, look what's at the bottom of the deck. Pretty, pretty good start. All right, so what is the message for cancer today? Let's see what's in it for my lovely cancer people. Cancerians, what do you call that? I just had the feeling that someone has something to celebrate. Good news to celebrate. If you don't have it, it might come the next week. I need space. We are ready again with a fresh battery. At the bottom of the deck we do have the Four of Cups reversed, so I feel that some of you guys uh letting go of regrets it's like whatever that you feel that you missed you don't see it as a loss anymore i do feel as a lot of you guys are moving on from from the past and from whatever hurt you in the past I do also have the seven of swords so i do feel that some of you guys or someone out there has been in a relationship where you gave your everything to that person and that person took a lot from you and you have in the past after been in this energy that you regret being with that person but I feel that you now see it as as a blessing in disguise like you you got something out of it because you learned a lot of you learned a lot from that so that you know who you are now you know what you want so it's something that has been blocking you in the past but you do really see it as a new opportunity now so seeing the positive from the negative that you have been going through so now that you do have the queen of cups for the situation I do feel that this could represent you. Remember that if you are a man, it is just a female energy. It is the energy of being more mature. So as I said earlier that you, you know, you've been through hell and you came back as a queen or as a, as a king if you are a man. You just, you know, you learn so much. You, it's like you wear your emotions as gold so you are like you are proud of what you actually have been through and you see it as again like I spoke about the she it as opportunities for who you really are now you know what you want you don't let anyone come and steal your thunder anymore it's over it's like, I feel that a lot of you guys are more in this like daydream state now where you in the past have been more close in so the new moon really, it has been pushing you guys to realize what you want and what you don't want anymore a lot of real realizations here so again I do really feel that you guys this is not anymore you have completely realized that you don't want to deal with sneaky people in your life anymore you don't want to have people who just come to you know i don't know like people who just want to have your body uh people who just come for your money you're over that so good job cancer so for the distant past you have the tower card so I really do feel that in the, I don't know, it can be six months ago, something happened. And I do feel it has to do with a person 
who came into your life maybe you thought that this person was like the you know true love but he just came to steal your emotions or your i don't know maybe he even really stole something you know from you and something happened you realized what you really want maybe this you know this new moon maybe it really helped you to really realize like okay this is not what i want anymore but it's like something happened for three six months ago where you really realized that someone is not there for good maybe you maybe still are in or maybe some of you guys are still in this realization where you play with the thought of maybe this person is not good but you haven't really taken any steps yet i do feel that some of you guys haven't taken the steps to kick out this person this might be a fire sign there is also earth and air's energy here so it can really be all signs because we do have all signs here so again i feel this is for a lot of people like it's just like some people realize some people are still in this realization that there is someone out there in your life who is not good for you and this can be female this can be male i do also feel that that for some of you guys you've been dealing with this person a year ago where something happened and then the person recently maybe came back into your life and it just showed you that the person haven't changed at all because you do have the ace of wands so it's like you really thought that you could get a new chance here you thought that you could start something new with this person again but this person just broke his or her promises again you maybe you know put a stop to it you were like that's it i am out of here i really do feel that in the past three months you really had this like i don't want this because there is a lot of i mean there is a lot of reverse cards for you so there is a lot of stuck energy a lot of delays holding back with the king of wands it is like someone out there is trying to force this new beginning but it's like the universe is really trying to show you that there is not going to be this person is not going to change if you have been dealing with someone who's been sneaky in the past this person is not going to change because it is the reverse king of wands it is it's like you are dealing with someone who is really unreliable it's someone who is i don't know if it's someone who's younger than you i just feel that it's someone who's just a player i mean a girl can be a player as well i guess and this whole situation really makes your life more in like there is this imbalance um so this is really if you don't cut off this person who's not good in your life again it doesn't have to be love this can also be a friend this can also be a family member i don't know if some of you guys are dealing with a mom Who's trying to hold you back from really like doing what it is that you actually want to do maybe you do want to travel to another country live in another country and your mom is like holding you back so it is like not that you're going to cut ties with your mom but maybe it if this is about someone's mom or about a family member it might be better for you to step back and do what it is that you actually want to do if it this is about someone that like a relationship like a 
ex or uh, just someone you have been dating who just never really promised what he he said he wanted to do then it's a call for you to let that person go this can also be bad habits i mean this is a big message for you to to let it go because because if you don't there will always be this stuck imbalance in your life and that simply means that you can't manifest what it is that you really want and i really feel that a lot of you guys are just you are hopeless you are in a situation where you just don't know what to do you have a lack of faith so you don't probably because of all this it's like you don't believe that any good is actually going to come into your life remember that if you are the person who already took the steps already let go of that person you might still be in a state of hopelessness you might still be in a state where you still are a little focused on the negative maybe you are too focused on or you are still too um, focused on the negative in love like you're like ugh I don't want to find love anymore I don't want to have anyone I'm just gonna be single and I mean it's okay if you want to be single but don't close yourself down because of an experience with a bad person I mean I really do feel that some of you guys have been dealing with fire signs specific fire signs a lot of you guys and I don't know why I feel that some of you guys actually traveled overseas to see that person but just to get your heart broken or you travel a long distance or you maybe used a lot of money in I don't know for a vacation that never happened because of that there is this energy of surrendering to the situation I mean that's that's the energy that you need you need to surrender and be like okay like everything's going to be okay you need to remember get out of this stuck energy and you need to stand up for yourself and really be like whatever you did if you are the person who said no to your mom you have to be like I needed to do this for myself so there is an energy that it's very important for you to stand up for yourself also even if you had to to bring someone down on his or her knees again karma don't be like oh no so sad maybe I should come back and help that person um, <laughs> because whatever they put upon you is their fault it's it's not yours it's like I think that some of you guys are you're going if you don't have that energy you might in the future be in this like oh maybe you know I shouldn't have been so hard to him or her so it's like you have this oh maybe I should go back and this is a big smack in the face for you not to do that stand up for yourself that's important be honest to yourself really see what it is that you deserve i also feel now, now that you have the knight of pentacle that you you have so much fear in your life now because that you have one bad thought so that the, ne the next bad thoughts just rolling in so you might also have financial problems at the moment I feel some of you guys are very impatient also in love so you try to again you try to rush into something new but remember that the reverse the star is here so you have to accept that whatever the ending was was needed needed for you it was there for you to see that you need to stand up for yourself I think that that is the lesson in that for you. You need to stop seeing yourself as a loser because you are not. It's like it's like there's so much fear of like oh god are people going to see me as a loser or the bad guy here or someone out there might really be involved with some kind of family drama. 
for what you need to really see here Kanja is that again you need to stand up for yourself you need to believe that you deserve good things but you still have to let go of the old there is new opportunities coming your way if you don't let go of whatever is holding you back you are going to miss opportunities coming your way i mean this is specific for people who just are very unfocused at the moment who's just clingy to something that's already dead again i am going to take the other cards to see what is coming your way if you let go or what it is that you really still need to do we have not the right time so again whatever it is that you're trying to force into yourself it's not the right time you do also have the improving health so you really need to work on yourself god no so yeah you really need to work on yourself again for some people you already you are past this but you still need to heal you still might you know have this like hurt what is the message for cancer we got no again i really feel that this is for someone specific out there who's like no i'm not gonna go let go of this person <laughs> this is a no it's not going to work it's not going to work because you do need to be on your own for now you do need to realize that you need some that something better is coming because you do have that the situation will improve you also have it's up to you so again it's obviously up to you if you want to let go of whoever whatever but if you keep being stuck in the same patterns you are not going to be able to manifest what it is that you really want <sighs> so this was all for you for today cancer i hope that you could use some of the messages i hope that it's going to help you to really push a little bit further and release what's not good if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe and like so this message can get out to more people and i will see you guys in my next video bye